Uh, so Mike, um, what are, in your experience, because you've been working with claims for a long time, uh, what are three common mistakes or three mistakes that you see veterans sometimes making when they're submitting uh, a VA disability claim? A lot of times they want to go it alone. Uh, they think filling out a bunch of forms is, is, is kind of an easy thing. But because of the intricacies, in, in, intricacies involved, the evidence that's required, you know, don't do this by yourself. There is free and qualified help available. There is no reason to pay for this service. Once you file a claim, keep in touch with your advocate. VA will send you letters. Again, I said we have a caseload. We have hundreds of thousands of veterans that we represent. VAW represents 550,000 veterans across the world. Wow. But, and yes, we do see copies of those letters electronically, but you know, we may not always know what's there. So if you get a letter or something you don't understand, get in touch with your representative, ask for that explanation. And secondly, don't submit things without telling your representative. This happens quite a bit. A veteran will get a letter from VA, won't consult their advocate, and then they'll submit something to VA that we don't know about. And they can sometimes cause issues because it may not be the right evidence. It may have already been part of the record. It may be something that's completely useless to the claim. So keep in touch with your VSO, keep in touch with your, your advocate, keep in touch with your attorney as you go through this process. They're gonna, they're gonna guide you through that the best way. And I think one of the biggest things we hear all the time is I'm taking benefits from another veteran. Well, I like to say VA prints plenty of money. <laughs> you are not taking anything away from another veteran by any means. VA is going to pay Paul Corbett just like they're going to pay me, just like they're going to pay every other veteran that is service disabled. And when you apply for the first time, your service counts. Your service matters. We all served differently and in different ways in different locations. But if you incurred that injury, that illness, that disease in service, and you are now suffering from it, the government has an obligation to make you whole. You're not taking any benefits away from anybody else. Hey folks, connecting with your benefits is our primary mission and the SITREP is providing more options than ever. Subscribe to our free email newsletter, subscribe to our audio podcast channel, or subscribe to our content on YouTube. For details and links, check out the description below.